I'm Mitch Ancher. I'm the chair of radiation oncology at the VCU Massey Cancer Center. One of the major issues that we have to deal with in radiation oncology is the risk of injury to the rectum because the rectum sits right next to the prostate and it's actually the most sensitive organ in, in the pelvis. And so that really limits how much radiation uh, we can give uh, to patients when we're treating prostate cancer. Um, it's been shown that um, drugs uh, called statins uh, may actually be able to reduce the risk of radiation injury. And the statins are drugs that are commonly used to treat patients with elevated cholesterol, and they protect against heart attacks and strokes, in part because they lower cholesterol, but also in part because they protect blood vessels. And the reason people get bleeding from radiation is because they get abnormal blood vessels, like spider veins, that form in the bladder and the rectum after radiation. So the hope was, and the theory was, that if the statin drugs can prevent uh, these abnormal blood vessels from forming or reduce their incidence, that it may reduce the um, uh, frequency of rectal bleeding after radiation treatments. Um, the second uh, study that we're conducting is one in which we're using um, larger than standard doses of radiation each day to treat the, uh, uh, the prostate cancer. Right now, uh, sort of the standard treatment with radiation would be about eight weeks. Uh, on the protocol, uh, because of the higher dose each day, it will reduce that to six weeks. And we're hopefully, hopefully in the future, we'll be able to uh, reduce it even further. And obviously that's good for patient convenience. It's less expensive because it requires fewer, uh, fewer treatments. And uh, hopefully it will eventually demonstrate that it can be done safely and, and maybe even improve the out outcome from the radiation treatments.